Hello and welcome back to the channel. Monica and I are about to head off to a restaurant which we've been recommended by a few people that's in the middle of a banana plantation. But before we head off, I've had a few comments from people saying, oh, it looks a bit cloudy, it looks a bit cold. I've got no idea what to wear in Tenerife when we come on holiday. Well, I'll give you an idea about how change changeable the weather is. So there's the sea over there. Beautiful weather, a few clouds for about 24 degrees. It's a warm one today. Well, warm. It's probably about average in general or in reality. And then if we come through here to the bedroom, that is the reality of what the weather situation like is in Tenerife. It's often quite cloudy on El Tadeo and the mountains, but actually when you're by the coast, literally just 10 miles away, 23, 24, 25 degrees and blue skies, but just 10 miles away, it can be cloudy and about 10 degrees colder. So a lot of people get confused and think, like, what, is it warm, is it cold? I'm looking at the forecast that says rain. Well, I can pretty much guarantee it won't be raining when you come on holiday, as long as you're in the touristy areas. I meant to get, just got a parcel, I'll show you this. Okay, because this parcel coincides exactly with Black Friday for Quadlock. And Quadlock, as you probably know, is something I use on my bike all the time. But they actually do devices for everything, for running, for your desk, for cars. So I'll flip the camera and show you what I've got because Black Friday for Quadlock starts on the 16th of November and it's 30% of everything across the site. Car mount, which looks like that. Suction cup there and your phone just attaches onto the end bit like that. Plus you can buy additionally a wireless charger. I love these wireless chargers. This just replaces this, attached to a USB wire here, and you just clip your phone on there, and then you've got wireless charging. And then finally, of course, on top of the motorbike one, which I've already got installed, the desk mount. And again, you just switch that out for the wireless charger. You've got a wireless charging desk mount with the phone. Love this stuff. <laughs> to go back because there's a fine site here. Two, two of the 1980s finest probably here. The Seat or Fiat, depending if you're Spanish or Italian, probably in reality. They call that the Marbella, of course, just taken from the Fiat Panda and oh, the mighty, mighty Vauxhall Nova or Opel Corsa. This was my first ever car, this one. I had it in a three door. Okay, I don't wanna lie, this is not in great condition, this one, but look at this. Even on a just an unloved car like this, look at the condition of all of the wings and all of the arches on an unloved one like this. Oh, I love it. And then I've also had a Fiat Panda, so the Italian version, but I just love the simplicity of these cars. So nice. These two have definitely seen better days though. I'm never gonna get to dinner at this rate. Ooh, an old Defender on Tenerife plates, so it's first registered right here in Tenerife. Oh wow. Wait, that is not the proportions look off. That is not, that is not a Defender. Santana, Satana. 
What? I'll have to Google that. Santana. Almost an exact copy of a Land Rover Defender. Someone let me know if you've ever come across that. That, that's a new one for me. Well, this is a guanchicha, and it's a traditional Canarian restaurant. They serve local wine, small little places that uh, just almost family-run type places. And this, this is not a small family-run place by the look of things. Look here, mother. I was expecting maybe three little cars down a dirt track, and this is the biggest food establishment I've seen so far. I don't know if you can pick it up on the mic, but. It sounds like there's a gigantic party going on there. You've got the banana plantation here. It's massive. I have no idea what to expect in it. It sounds like a huge Spanish party though. This place is gigantic and it's absolutely packed. It's so popular actually, they've got a car parking attendant guiding people in. There's a queue even to be able to get into the restaurant area. But here we are in the middle of a banana plantation. It's four o'clock when we got here. It's about 4.15 now. The second you sit down, boom, bread put on the table by a waiter. One minute later, another waiter comes over. What do you want to drink? Two minutes, two minutes after that, what do you want to order? They don't mess about here. There's no fills here. You sit down, you get your food, you eat it, you get out, you shut up. You've got to be moved on in here. Uh, and it's four o'clock, like I said. It's not peak times like lunchtime. It's not obviously dinner time because they usually eat about eight o'clock in Spain. So clearly Sunday is gorging day in Spain for the Canaries. bread that was given to us um, that's just automatic a couple of different sources sangria here and you just choose any one from a huge range of dishes i think we've got chickpeas canary potatoes and one other thing but massive oh actually here it is massive menu just here and it's all in different languages and that that is the actual place El Cordera, just on the outskirts, about 10 minutes from the touristy area. Okay, so what have we got? Chickpeas, veggie platter, potatoes, and then these are the two Canarian sauces that we've had in another restaurant, so clearly these are a bit of a Canarian thing. Let's tuck in, we've got a full table. The service here is incredible. Order a tiramisu, three seconds later, two tiramisus on the table. You know what it is? It's just good, honest, hearty, gorgeable food. This, this is what we've seen on the website. The table's actually in the banana plantation, so you can see all these really nicely carved out tables right in the middle of this banana plantation. That's, that's what you see on the Instagram account, actually. I don't know if you have to specifically ask for them, but I mean, where we, next time, where we were sitting is fine, but that is so cool. And this is, a proper, I mean, it's a proper working banana plantation. They're not just banana trees put there for look and effect. You can see, in fact, these are, what would they be, mangoes? Or coconuts? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna embarrass myself. I don't know what that is, but. I guess these are all of the boxes the bananas will go in. 
and you've got all of the ladders here for the banana pickers. I guess they'll just, it looks like it's a lot of work, but probably it's not ridiculously bad because you just chop off the top and just take it down one tree. Looks like one tree has one bunch of bananas. Truck there, I love the old trucks here. They just go on forever. We've come to a really nice sunset spot. Right in front of us here, this is all Costa Adeja. If you come up to just above Sai Mall, drive up the road right behind it, and this is a great spot. A lot of locals come here. They all set up, just like Monica's brought here today, picnic, blanket and stuff like that, have a couple of beers and just enjoy the brilliant, especially on a clear evening, the brilliant sunset. So this is La Gomera here. This is, I think, the closest island to Tenerife. Population, 20,000 people. And it will be the first bit of island hopping we do going over there. I am so, so excited. Tenerife beer from, which is Dorada. This is actually no alcohol with lemon. So, so good. And I've got an update. Auto Bianchi, the, the car that we put a, a letter through the letterbox of the owner to see if they'd lend it to me. I, I think I offered a hundred euros or something like that. Never heard back. So if you have, if you live in Tenerife and you have an interesting vehicle, car or bike, uh, let's say, should we say 1990 or older, something around that age, uh, and you're happy to lend it to me. I don't care if it's a super sporty one. I don't care if it's pristine. I like those old everyday cars. They can be a bit battered. That's not a problem at all. I give 100 euros for a car. Should we say 60, about 60 euros for a bike? For uh, one day. For one day. For one day. I only need it for a day just to test it out because there's so many interesting vehicles here. I would love the chance to test some of them out. So if you've got one, send me an email to dob.bs at outlook.com. Insert here, please, Monica. And... We'll, we'll just see what the options are and uh, it'd be good to get a bit of food for thought, see what's out there, see what opportunities there are. But that's it. We'll end it here. Oh, it gets more magical. And once it gets to about that far above the, uh, the sea level, the sun, it drops down within about five minutes. There'll be no sun at all visible within about five minutes now. Mercedes, completely forgot to say the the big black Mercedes that is, had graffiti on the side of it, it was battered, it was smashed in, gone. Scrapyard in the sky, it's been taken away. So that is the end of that dream. Have a good one.